Hi friends here is PJ's passion wishing you all a happy Diwali and may the divine light of Diwali bring peace prosperity happiness good health love and joy throughout the coming year to you and to your families if you're watching BJ's passion for the first time share with your friends and subscribe with post notifications turned on for more cooking videos with BJ's passion let's start with the quick recipe of besan burfi for that I have taken 1 cup of besan flour half cup of ghee you can use butter also I have used ghee and then I have taken powdered sugar I have taken 3 4th cup of powdered sugar if you want you can increase the amount and 3 4th cup of milk we can apply ghee to a serving dish or a bowl or a plate to transfer the burfi and for a final touch we can sprinkle crushed cashew nuts onto the top of the burfi let's start with the preparation let's transfer the ghee to a hot pan and the basin flour into the pan and mix the ghee along with the basin flour and we have to mix it for some time so that the basin flour gets mixed with the ghee and continue mixing until the raw smell of the basin is completely absorbed by the ghee and we get a nice aroma of the ghee mixed along with the basin flour so it will take uh, six to seven minutes so till that time we have to mix and afterwards we can add the powdered sugar and along with that the milk that we have kept and mix it again until we are getting a thick consistency continue mixing until we are getting that thick consistency it will take a maximum of 10 to 15 minutes it will not take much more than that so it will take a little time not more than 15 minutes but then still we have to mix it until it it is coming out of the sides it will not stick to the sides that we can see here when i am just moving it to the soft out of the sides you can see it's coming out but then it will it will reach a consistency when it is no more sticking to the sides so till that time we have to continue stirring it with patience yeah we need a little patience not much is required because it's very easy to prepare this so it's a quick recipe i just prepared it within half an hour so it will not take half an hour full <laughs> so you can see it over here yeah we have reached the consistency so we have to continue stirring it until we are reaching this consistency once we reach this consistency we can add the cardamom powder and the crushed nuts along with this and mix it actually i forgot it and turned off the flame and i transferred it to the serving dish forgetting it but you know all things will work together for good actually i didn't plan to mix the crushed nuts along with this thing i thought of putting it on to the on the top but then you know the crunchy cashew nuts in between that gives a good taste that is so lovely we have to make it even while it is hot and yeah i almost made it even you can see in the video here yes it's almost even and then only i realized i forgot to apply the cardamom powder and i applied the cashew nuts too after that only i realized oh god you can see here i am just uh, applying it here but then later on i added this but then i thought okay no that, that is not the way we have to do it the other way so again i am mixing it but then that came out so nice so you can try it that way not like on the top only but then mixing it along with inside and mix giving it a quick mix will give you a nice burfi even if it was accidental but then yeah it worked together for good yeah so because of that we got a crunchy nice tasty burfi you all can try this now we have to keep it aside for some time to cool down and later we can cut it into any desired shape 
so here i cut it in this particular shape and it was so tasty we all enjoyed it like anything and it was so satisfying wishing you once again a happy diwali enjoy yourself and don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe with post notifications turned on for more cooking videos and recipes with bj's passion stay tuned with bj's passion for another simple recipe until that time take care see you soon bye